my best to the last breath. Yes, in full effect here at South Beach, Miami. Working out, getting stronger, getting faster. Just saw the movie Creed yesterday. Creed, Rocky Balboa 7. And it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. But uh, I'm gonna warn you guys now, if you haven't seen the movie, you wanna see the movie, do not watch the video. We're gonna be talking about the lessons I learned from it. The first one I'm gonna do here is about you versus you. These people are working out right here. And during periods of when they do the exercises, there's a little gap, there's a comfort zone they have to reach outside of. That is when they have to push inside themselves, see what they're capable of. That's the same thing with all areas of life. So in the movie, Rocky took Creed and he brought him to the mirror and he said, see that guy? That's the biggest opponent you're gonna face. And I believe that in the ring and I believe that in life. So he started boom, punching, and whatever he did, the mirror did it back. So he punched, he had to dodge and punch, and it was going against yourself. So I read a book by Tyrese Gibson saying, how to get out of your own way. And that's very important to learn, how to get out of your own way. So keep that in mind, figure out ways get out of your own way. Maybe it's just maybe something bad happened. Maybe something with uh, the money doesn't go through. The I, I hurt my pinky or, or something like that. And I'm in a positive environment. So I'm here in South Beach, Miami. On Thanksgiving. And I'm having a blast working out. But let's say something were to happen. Could I still alchemize it and make myself have a good time? And that's, you have to do that by stepping out of your own way. And here's how you do this. Acceptance. See, pain, suffering, resistance is the result of non-acceptance. This is what Eckhart Tolle says. This is what all the great gurus say. All these gurus, if you look at the word guru, it means G, you are you. G, you are you, wow. And they're just pointing out to the awesomeness inside you. So as long as you can beat you, meaning you can step out of your own way, it's not a competition, it's not a battle, fight against yourself, it's a dance. It's a fun journey of knowing yourself, loving yourself, and bettering yourself. On that note, I'm about to better myself, get into some of these workouts, but check out the rest of the principles I learned from Creed. Hey, I'm back talking about Creed once again, here in Brickell, Miami, Florida. And the thing about Creed, some other things that stuck out to me was this. He had two huge fights before he was even ready for them. He kind of jumped off and had to learn to fly after he jumped. If I were to jump into that water and I didn't know how to swim, I had to, I'd have to. Not I need to, but I, I must. And I should figure out how to swim. So we can do that in our life proactively by learning a skill, putting yourself out on a jujitsu jiu mat before you're ready and just learn that way. Maybe buying a self-development program without having the money, and then you'll have to make the money through it. There's a myriad of ways to do this. So that's a big thing he did. Okay, again, spoiler alert. I got some more spoiler alerts coming. But find a way to commit to something before you're ready. Because Richard Branson says this. He says, take the job before you have the skills and then learn it on the way. Learn how to do it as you go. Next, what he did was this. He went against his ma his mother, his, his stepmother, his grandma, all his family, people doubting him. And that was powerful. And when he said that after, against Will Alert, so stop it if you didn't see it, after the fight, he said he wanted to thank his, his uh, mom at home watching him. And he said he almost drew her drives her crazy. All the mothers in the movie theater laughed because they resonated with it. Maybe subconsciously they knew that, oh yeah, my kid drives me crazy too. You, Grant Cardone says this, if you're not driving your mother or your parents or your family crazy, you're actually not taking enough risks because they're going to get that worry from people. That's, that's part of the hero's journey. You're going to come across the giants, which he did in the movie, right? big top-notch best fighters in the world, and you're going to come across the resistance of your family. And then the lastly is you're gonna find those mentors along the way, which I'm gonna talk about next. Hey, at the airport in Philly, and to share the last lesson of Rocky, what we're talking about is Creed here. That's the homie right there, Rocky Balboa. And the last lesson is this, is that Creed got a mentor. 
he sought out the best. He sought out who? He sought out Rocky, okay? You gotta go to the best, you, you, you find a mentor, and he did whatever it took. He went to him in person, he, he visited his store, kind of persistently, you know, stalked it in a way, but he was the candidate, he needed his help. So, whose help can you use to infuse all this together? Whose aid can assist you and be most advantageous with the capital A for you because it's gonna help you so super much. Hey, another famous Philly movie, Invincible, Rocky Balboa. And here it is, oh, I didn't even know this was gonna be here. Creed, Silver Lining's really good by the way. Creed, 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 there's the movie we're gonna end on. Really cool, the last thing is he grabbed a piece of paper and, and can you give me some workouts, he said to him. And he gave him some workouts and he applied it times three and he did it and he got a mentor and to composite all these other things together those are the lessons i got from creed keep getting inspired through any movies and living a empowered life got more movie videos coming your way the more movies i see i have a filter on my movies so when i see a movie i'm gonna not just use it for entertainment but get inspired by it and then create inspired action and then tell you all. So from Philly, peace.